guys, in today's video, we're going to be going over how to enable BitLocker encryption for your hard drive, even though you don't have a TPM chip. Now, to know if you don't have a TPM chip, uh, there's one thing you can check. Let's go to Control Panel, and we're going to search for BitLocker. And you can see right here, it comes right up, Manage BitLocker. And if you're going to try to turn it on, you might get an error message similar to this saying that I didn't detect a TPM chip. So go ahead and hit cancel on that if you did get that error message. You can also go to the TPM administration here. You can see that it can't find a compatible TPM chip um, or maybe it's not enabled in your BIOS. Um, so you might need to restart your computer and go into the BIOS and double check to see if TPM is enabled or not in the BIOS. Uh, but in our instance, we know we don't have it. So we're gonna go ahead and bypass it. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. All right, to get started, we're gonna go to our start menu. We're gonna type in uh, run. And we're going to type in gpedit.msc. So once you put in gpedit.msc, click, click on OK. This is the local uh, computer policy. Um, this is the different policies and settings you can set for your computer. So to find out the path we need to get to, I put it here around the screen. So we go to local computer policy, computer configuration, administrative template, and then we're going to find Windows component. And then we're going to scroll down to the bit locker drive encryption, and then operating system drive. So now we're gonna find something that says require additional authentication at startup, double click on that. We're gonna click on enabled, and then you wanna make sure a lot bit locker without compatible TPM. So just check that and it's gonna require a password or a startup key on a flash drive. We're gonna, we, we're good with that, hit okay. We're gonna close out of this. Now let's go back here and we're gonna select turn on bit locker. Now we shouldn't get an error message this time. If you do get an error message though, you might need to restart your computer. If it still doesn't work after you reboot, then you need to double check that you did make that setting change. Now to get back to the wizard, uh, we're not gonna insert our flash drive because we don't want that in case the flash drive gets corrupted. We're just gonna enter a password. So we're gonna enter our password for, now you're gonna have to, you don't wanna forget this because if you forget this, your drive uh, won't be able to recover, right? Um, so we're gonna put in our password here and then click next. And it is a good idea to now back up the um, recovery key file. So we're gonna go ahead and back it up to a file and put it onto a thumb drive right now. So we're gonna go ahead and find our thumb drive and plug it into our machine. We have our thumb drive plugged in. So we're gonna select our F drive there, hit save. And it's probably a good idea to go ahead and maybe save it to a file and store it into maybe your OneDrive somewhere in the cloud, uh, somewhere else because without that recovery file or if you forget your password, you're kinda Screwed, <laughs> to say the least. Um, so make sure you have it stored somewhere safely, right? We are gonna go ahead and do the fastest and best for new uh, drives because our PC is fairly new. Go ahead and hit next. We're gonna do the new encryption mode, that's fine. And we're gonna do a run bit locker check, that's fine here, and hit continue. So it looks like it is uh, asking us to restart. So we're gonna go ahead and close out of everything and restart our machine. So we uh, restarted the machine, and if your drive doesn't start encrypting, and you get an error message that says BitLocker could not be enabled, the data drive specific is not set automatically, C drive is not encrypted, and then you hit, out, hit close on it, and then nothing happens. BitLocker doesn't get enabled, no nothing. So what I found out was there was something in the wizard that we needed to uncheck if you get this error message. If you don't get this error message and your Windows is happily encrypting, then let it be and you're good to go. Uh, but if you do get that pop-up, then we kind of have to rerun the whole wizard again. And once you get to this point of the wizard which says are you ready to encrypt the drive and you got the checkbox that says run bitlocker system check don't check that go ahead and uncheck it and hit continue and then it'll automatically start encrypting the drive right away so if you do get this error message bitlocker cannot be enabled then go ahead and redo it again go to your c drive right click turn on bitlocker go through the wizard setup and uncheck this at the very last step and then hit continue and you can see your drive will start encrypting like it is here, and you should be off to the races and be good to go. Well, I hope this video was helpful, you guys. If you have any questions or comments, or if you are running into any other issues, please leave them in the comments below, and we'll try and help you out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.